Greetings, and welcome to another in Learning Trees series on business analytics and data science. Today we'll see how very easy it is to create a custom visual for Power BI using the statistical language R. This is very important because it enables data scientists to develop visualizations without having to immerse themselves in the complexities of JavaScript. Our work today presumes that you have installed Node.js and configured it for Power BI. It presumes that you have R, including the core plot package, and clearly uh, it presumes that you have Power BI desktop. While strictly speaking, our studio is not required, it's such a convenient tool that it would seem foolish to work without it. We'll start with a command line open to whatever folder that you would like to store your uh, visualization projects in. Once you've opened a command line, we can create a new project with the PBI Viz command line program. Now, if this were all we typed, we would have a new uh, visualization project called Correlation Demo, but it would be a JavaScript project, not a R project. In order to create an R project, we have to specify the R visual project type. Once we've created the project, we can go to the Windows Explorer, open up the project folder, and see what the PBI Viz program has created for us. PBIViz.json is the master project file, rather analogous to an SLN file in the Visual Studio. We can open it up with Genie uh, just to avoid the headaches of the line ending problem that we would get if we opened it in Notepad we will have to use the dependencies.json file to specify what libraries are required by our custom R control. Uh, and we see that Microsoft has provided for us a stub of an R script that gives us a starting point. We now replace this stub code with some very simple illustrative code using uh, core plot. When we look at this code, we see that there's a variable called values. Uh, this variable has nothing assigned to it, so this code cannot possibly work. Values is the variable that will be automatically assigned a value when our custom visualization is executing at runtime. In order to test our visualization in the RStudio environment, we'll need to create a substitute data source uh, simply for testing and debugging purposes. We can now paste a little bit of code in a second R script uh, whose sole purpose is to create a little test data frame called M. Uh, once we do that, we can return to the visualization script and see if it creates the visualization as expected. Naturally, we get an error on the line that tries to access the non-existent data called values, but that does not affect the line of code that generates our correlation plot. We can now finish our little project by going to the uh, dependencies.json file and specifying that the core plot library is going to be required if this visualization is to run correctly in the Power BI environment. Once we complete this, we're ready to return to the command line. We'll have to change directories because we need to be in the directory where the project file lives. We're not quite ready to package our visualization yet. If we try to package it now, our R code will be correct, but we will be missing all of the JavaScript infrastructure necessary to build a functioning uh, visualization. For that, we're going to have to use NPM. If we run now, we'll just get errors telling us that particular objects cannot be found. So we'll type NPM install. 
that will install the necessary JavaScript libraries. And then we should be able to try again with much greater success. So we try again. This time it works successfully. And now if we go to the Windows Explorer, we should be able to see the distribution folder containing the PBI viz file that we can distribute to our uh, colleagues and coworkers. And there we have it. So thank you for joining us. Uh, don't hesitate to go to www.learningtree.com and check out the interesting blogs at blog.learningtree.com.